Hello students. In the last class, we have had a session on aniline. Aniline. And today, we will discuss another important nitrogenous aromatic compound and that is benzene diazonium chloride. Benzene diazonium chloride. And do you know the benzene diazonium chloride and its formula? N2 plus Cl minus benzene diazonium chloride in the place of Cl minus it can be Br minus then the compound will be benzene diazonium bromide salt it can also be a, a HSO4 benzene diazonium bisulfate ion benzene diazonium chlorides are the compounds which are not naturally occurring compounds it is first synthesized by the scientist named Peter Gris. Peter, P E T E R, Peter, R I S, Peter Gris, in the year of 1858. Benzene diazonium compound is prepared by the reaction which is said to be diazotization reaction. You know diazotization reaction? And it will start with aniline whenever react with NNO2 and HCl mixture and which will prepare a, produce HNO2 instantly and the reaction temperature is to be maintained 0 to 5 degrees centigrade and you are getting benzene diazonium chloride. Benzene diazonium chloride light yellow in color and highly soluble in water you know as its ionic character and generally it can be isolated in the solid state but it is not isolated in the solid state because in the solid state uh, it is uh, a bit explosive and that's why it is stored and produced in liquid state uh, benzene diazonium chloride and the color as I have just said and it will be light yellow in color. A large number of aromatic compounds can be synthesized from benzene diazonium. Benzene diazonium chloride, wherever hydrolyzed in acidic medium, and it will form phenol. And phenol, you know, if you apply zinc dust, you will get benzene. Benzene diazonium chloride, if allowed to treat it with CuCl in presence of HCl medium, okay, you are getting chlorobenzene. And in similar reaction, if you add CuBr along with HBr, you are getting bromobenzene. You can also get iodobenzene, but the reaction is a bit different. And here you have to add Ki solution with benzene diazonium chloride and you are getting iodobenzene. So th these are the two reactions and the reactions are said to be Sandmeyer reaction. And fluorobenzene can also be prepared from benzene diazonium chloride and here you have to add HBF4, fluoroboric acid. So the intermediate compound here N2 plus BF4 minus benzene diazonium fluoroborate. It is not a stable compound and it will under heating and it will changes to fluorobenzene. From benzene diazonium fluoroborate uh, if you uh, add the NaNO2 in presence of copper so you will also get nitrobenzene. Few more important reactions of benzene diazonium chloride so, if you are reducing agent SNCl2 plus HCl, so another important compound is NH, NH2 dot HCl. Actually, it is in acidic medium, you know, it is phenyl hydrogen, phenyl hydrogen, and if it is added with small amount of alkali, that HCl will remove and you will get phenyl hydrogen. NH, NH2. 
Now the benzene diazonium group can also be removed by using you know H3PO2 hypophosphorus acid or C2H5OH. Either of these two you can add in benzene diazonium chloride then you will get a uh, benzene. The reaction by which we can prepare fluorobenzene the name of the reaction you know Balz Siemens reaction B A L Z S C S C H I E M A double N Balz Siemens reaction and these two are Sandmeyer reaction. Benzene diazonium chloride also uh, in presence of aniline you know aniline aniline what will happen and it will add up to form diazoamino benzene diazoamino benzene C6H5 N double bond N NH C6H5 so diazoamino benzene can also be produced and if you, uh, during the preparation of uh, benzene diazonium chloride it is because uh, if uh, aniline is excess in the medium um, it will uh, produce diazoamino benzene with the produced benzene diazonium chloride and you know for that's why the solution is made acidic a small amount of extra ACL is added there benzene diazonium chloride reacting with phenol reacting with phenol you know phenol what is the product and the product is para hydroxy azobenzene para hydroxy azobenzene so the compound is like n double bond n and at the para position there will be one OH para hydroxy azobenzene benzene diazonium chloride reacting with benzene only benzene in alkaline medium NaOH so diphenyl C6H5 that is one benzene ring C6H5 another benzene ring and there is diphenyl system and we can have and the reaction by which we are getting the compound para hydroxy azobenzene the reaction is said to be diazo coupling reaction diazo coupling reaction phenol or phenolic compound can be identified by diazo coupling reaction because the compound having a specified color so benzene diazonium compound can also react with beta naphthol have you heard the term beta naphthol beta naphthol it is beta naphthol and the product will be product will be it will be look at here beta naphthol here OH is there so here n double one n benzene ring will be there so these are the important reactions of benzene diazonium compound students now what you have to do you have to do subscribe my channel and if you subscribe my channel you will have the latest update in my classes and which will be very useful for you, you. and moreover if you have anything to say you may contact in my whatsapp number 91 that is country code 9832095737